Hi, my name's Carl Berry. I'm a professional Betfair trader. I've been doing it for some time now, um, for those of you that haven't already heard of me. Um, and what I want to do here is I just want to introduce you to a Geek Sweat trading software. The reason being, um, obviously I do this for a living and, and I'm fully aware of all, all the stuff that's going on. For people starting out, you don't realise that there's actually a massive advantage to, to using a software. Um, it gives you a speed advantage over the website. Um, it allows you a lot more information on offer to understand what's actually going on in front of your eyes um, and make better informed decisions as it happens. So first of all, I just want to explain to you that you need the trading software, um, and I'll show you show you why in a second. Uh, and then straight after that, I want to very quickly break down the, the ladder interface um, and hopefully relate it to the website for you, because I know a lot of people are getting into this now um, and, and want to do this and make money. But um, initially, looking at the ladder interface um, and seeing some other YouTube videos on on the channel. Um, can be quite confusing because you look at it and there's sort of numbers whizzing everywhere and flashing and all this sort of stuff and graphs going on. It, it seems quite confusing, but it's not actually that confusing. So hopefully, um, I'm just going to relate the website to that for you so you can understand exactly what's happening in front of you when you watch the other other clips before you get started with this. So without further ado, it's probably better just to show you. So looking at the Betfair website in front of us, you'll all be familiar with that. If we go to horse racing. Um, there's lots of different races on today. I'm going to go for York, five past three. Um, so you'll be used to this interface in front of you here, um, and obviously you've got the horses' names, you've got the jockeys, you've got the prices back and lay. Obviously, back bet is a, a bet to place a horse to win a race. Lay bet is a complete opposite. Now, what I do is I, I want to back at a higher price and then lay it off at a shorter price, or vice versa. I want to lay it at a shorter price and then back it at a higher price as the price moves. Um, keeping the profit in the process. So placing a bet with a website um, isn't too difficult, but we'll, we'll just we'll just go through it here just to uh, to explain. So 8.2. Let's place a, a token bet of five pound. We'll place that in the market and confirm. And the bet is placed and matched. So the bet has been placed 8.2. You can see that it's changed the outcomes in this column here. So should the horse win, we win 36 quid. Should it lose, we lose a fiver. Now we don't want to lose anything, so what we're trying to do is predict where the price goes um, and then hopefully we can lay it off at a shorter price. So if I click the lay button and reselect the price to 7.8 say, and we'll, we'll keep the state the same initially, so £5. That's changed a few bits here for you. So you've got now what is the, the what if column and basically what that's saying is if this bet is matched, what if this bet is matched at 7.8? for five pounds what will the outcomes be well the outcomes will change to no loss on the air of a runner because you've laid it off for the same amount of money as you backed it but we'll be left with two pound profit on the favorite in this case because we, we've made use of that price difference now what you can do further to that is uh, change change the lay figure to a little bit more which will then change these uh, what if outcomes in this column so if I change that to £5.5p, you can see look, we make 5p no matter what happens on any horse, but we only win 166 on the favourite. And then if I do it again, you know, you can see that it just changes each time I do it. Um, and the amount you win on the, 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 you know, basically the numbers get closer together. Um, on, the, on the others, the, the amount goes up, but on the, the traded run of the price goes down until eventually you could find a point where you win profit on whatever outcomes and that's probably what you'll have seen from the better fair traders competition on Twitter and stuff like that that's what people are doing out there that's what I do for a living so that's one way of doing it um, but you know you can see there's a bit of faffing about and, and working out to be done there but if we use a software um, I'm just going to show you now it will it just completely turns everything on its head it just makes it so much easier so if I go to five past three at York, um, which we've got here, whoa, we're, we're daunted with this, with this interface. So without making it too confusing and looking at everything else just yet, if we look at this particular horse here in the main column, because this, this column here um, is a favourite, we've placed our back bet at 8.2. right? And it gives you an additional column. And what that column is doing is it's saying wherever the price goes, um, we can place an additional bet um, and hedge up for that figure and it will it will close us out for that figure I say hedge up I mean it will give us that figure on every single runner throughout the race so if I was to back it uh, to lay it sorry at 8.0 one one increment away 
um, it would tell me that I'd need five pound and twelve pence and you can see the one click bet in there I've just clicked on that figure in the software and it's placed the bet for me and not only is it placed the bet it's calculated the figure uh, the, the price um, and the stake that I need to do to ensure that I win twelve pence no matter what happens on every single horse in this race um, now obviously we've placed our bet and we want to get this out because I'm just explaining so I'm going to click here the, the minus 12 and what that should do is that should place a bet for us straight away, straight away sorry, click, yeah it's in, it's done, it's matched um, and you can see the two bets here, the initial bet of £5 at 8.2 um, so this is a, uh, obviously a losing bet but um, it's calculated for 12p difference it needs to lay it off for £4.88 which is just taken away all of that messing about with the different figures and prices and stakes and everything for me that I had to do on the website previously so that's one advantage straight away um, further to that the website obviously you've got to keep smashing the, the, the refresh button give yourself a bit of a numb finger in the process so like trying to work out what's going on software's updating um, to millisecond you can see here that's just giving me my, my ping time if ever you've played computer games um, and what that's telling me is it's just telling me all this information is current it's being updated um, straight away and, and I'm basically seeing what's happening as it's happening now don't worry about the rest of the interface because that's what's daunting for people in the other clips on the YouTube channel I'm going to explain that in a second so that's one reason you need well I say it's one reason it's probably about 10 reasons you need software it's faster you know the one click betting the fact it shows you where the, pr the price to get out the profit loss etc etc you've got all these wonderful graphs and information streams and different stuff going on which will help you make better informed decisions um, in a better position to hopefully make some money so we've got We've got why we need software um, to implement our Betfair trading strategies because it's obviously quite important and it's a bit of an advantage. Um, but now, oops, don't know, I'll just close that down. But now, what I'm just going to show you is hopefully something that will help you understand uh, this this interface with the software because it looks daunting, but it's really not. Believe me, it's really not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of the, of the website interface and I'm just going to relate the two for you in Paint. So we've got five past three at York if I go to paint dump my screenshot I'm gonna play about with a few bits um, what I'm gonna do is first off I'm gonna take a couple of take the first three horses names and I'm gonna take their price information as well we'll paste that over here now a bit, uh, got a bit low with that. Right, so we've got we've got that there. Now, on the website, everything is horizontal. So I need to put it in sort of a vertical format, which is going to relate it to the trading software. Now you see, at each price, um, there's another figure underneath. Now that figure is the money that is available to be matched at that price. So it's just represented in a different format, really, to be honest. Um, and I'm just going to move about some of these blocks now. If you bear with me, um, you'll see you'll see hopefully how it relates to the software. So you can see what I'm doing, I'm just putting them in a vertical format and if I just pause this clip and uh, I'll resume it once I've actually moved all this about for you. So hopefully you can see I've, I've um, all I've done is I've taken all them um, figures from the website um, as they're represented horizontally like this and I've just placed them in a vertical format for you. Um, so further to that now I've got each each horse, the top three horses in this particular race at York and we've got their prices going from 7.8 to 8 to 8.2 you know prices going from lower to higher bottom to top um, so it's in a vertical format for us now further to the price we've got that figure underneath which is the amount of money that's available at that price which I'm just going to move to the side of that um, just so it's a bit clearer for you and, and hopefully you'll see why in a second so I'm just moving the different figures um, to the side of the prices it's just, just a different way of laying it out and you'll, you'll hopefully you'll see why in a second so if I just pause that and do that with the rest again 
So all that done, um, hopefully this is making a little bit more sense to you now. We've got the horse's uh, name, we've got the, the jockey underneath, we've got the prices from low to high, and we've got the money available at them prices to lay and back, um, depending on what's happening. So that should resemble a little bit um, of the ladder interface. So if I just pull up our software, um, and I, what I'll do is I'll lift this up. There we go. Move this across a little bit, hopefully. There we go, we can't do it much more. But you'll see um, what we've actually got is the same. It's, it's the same as the website, really. So looking at the software here, um, that is the spirit. Obviously, the favourite is there. Um, we've got the jockey's name. We've got the trainer's name as well on the software. Uh, on the website, we've got the, the name and the jockey. We've obviously then got the price column down the centre. Um, um, all different prices, so 8.2, 8.4, 8.6, and you can see that's exactly what we've got same here in a paint. And then the money that's available to be backed on the lay side of the column um, is exactly the same as it is on our, our drawing and paint, as it were, my, my poor paint work cutting and pasting. Um, so hopefully you can see the representation is the same. As the price goes up and down, um, you'll see. Uh, these money should be matched, you know, and that's what in turn produces this graph, um, which is a better fair graph. But I won't confuse you with that in a second. So we've got the name, the jockey, the prices, the money available, and that's exactly what you've got in the ladder interface. Now, the ladder interface has got that, and it's all next to each other, which is quite helpful, um, and it updates to the second, unlike the website. Now, we've also got the traded volume column, which is very helpful, which is this column here. And what that is, next to each price, is it tells us how much money has been traded or matched or bet at them prices. So, at 8.4, you can see 4.3,000 pounds, because 4.3k um, has been matched at that price. So it's got extra information on the software. Further to that, on the website, you might have seen there's a little tab you can click, which is this, this icon here, for the Betfair graph. We've already got them. We've already got them all next to each other, um, which is helpful because we can kind of play it off and work out what's happening against each other in the market. Um, so this is the price history for this morning on the on this runner. Obviously, three hours to the race as yet. That's why this timer is up here. So uh, not a lot really happening right now. Further to that, you've got a traded volume um, chart, which is over 10 seconds. So you see that moving across. It gives me the number 10 at the top. That's telling me the biggest bar on this chart, number 10, is how much money was traded on that bar. So another bet's just gone in the market. £10 matched has gone going through the market, which is a few seconds ago, which is also what you see flash up in the market. So try not to pay too much attention to all that. But basically, that is your ladder interface. Um, it's called a ladder because obviously all the, all the columns look a bit like a ladder. Um, and it's very useful because it's, it's updated so quickly, it's all interpreted against the different runners against each other. You've got your extra graphs, your extra charts, your extra information. Further to that is a market overview, which I don't want to confuse you, but basically we've got a little legend down the bottom here. And what that is, it's all the different runners um, have got a price plotted against each other in the market. So you can see how that behaves relative as well. So you can see straight away that trading software is a massive advantage to be using with Betfair. Um, it's not as confusing as it looks in some of the other YouTube videos. Um, I'd advise having a look at them, trying to work out what's going on. Um, but hopefully that's just related what the, the website interface um, looks like in comparison to, to uh, the ladder within the software, which is what you'll see on the other YouTube clips. Um, if you want any extra information, then obviously feel free to, to question us at calmberry.com, my blog where there's various information and, and training guides and, and stuff like that as well. But uh, hopefully now you'll understand the rest of the, the clips on the YouTube channel if you're struggling and you'll realise how important it is for you to get yourself a Geeksoy trading software over using the website. Thanks a lot for, for taking the time to listen.